are being transferred to the NHAI in WIT. Similarly, transmission assets of value 7,000 crores will be transferred to the PGCIL in WIT. Railways will monetize dedicated freight corridor assets for operations and maintenance after commissioning. The next lot of airports will be monetized for operations and management concessions. Other core infrastructure assets that will be rolled out under the asset monetization programs are NH NHAI operational toll roads, two transmission assets of PGCL, three oil and gas pipelines of Gale, Gas Authority of India Limited, IOCL and HPCL, Airports uh, Authority of India airports in tier two and three cities, other railway infrastructure assets, warehousing assets of CPSE, such as the Central Warehousing Corporation and NAFED, among others, and sports stadiums. Sharp increase in capital budget. In the BE 2020-21, we had provided for 4.12 lakh crores for capital expenditure. It was our effort that in spite of resource crunch, we should spend more on capital and we are likely to end this year at around 4.39 lakh crores, which I have provided in the RE of 2020-2021. For 21-22, I propose a sharp increase in capital expenditure and thus have provided 5.54 lakh crores, which is 34.5% more than the BE of 2020-2021. Of this, I have kept a sum of more than 44,000 crores in the budget head of the Department of Economic Affairs to be provided for projects, programs, or departments that show good progress in capital expenditure and are in need of further funds. Over and above this expenditure, we would also be providing more than 2 lakh crores to states and autonomous bodies for their capital expenditure. We will also work out specific mechanisms to nudge states to spend more of their budget on creation of infrastructure. Roads and highways infrastructure. More than 13,000 kilometer length of roads at a cost of 3.3 lakh crores has already been awarded under the 5.35 lakh crores Bharat Mala Pariyojana project of which 3,800 kilometers have been constructed. By March 2022, we would be awarding another 8,500 kilometers and complete an additional 11,000 kilometers of national highway corridors. To further augment road infrastructure, more economic corridors are also being planned. Some are 3,500 kilometer of national highway works in the state of Tamil Nadu at an investment of 1.03 lakh crores. These include, these include Madurai Kollam Corridor, Chittur Tachur Corridor, and construction will start next year. Second, 1,100 kilometer of national highway works in the state of Kerala at an investment of 65,000 crores, including including 600 kilometer section of Mumbai Kanyakumari corridor in Kerala. Third, 675 kilometer of highway works in the state of West Bengal at a cost of, at a cost of 25,000 crores.
including up upgradation of existing road Kolkata Siliguri. National highway works of around 19,000 crores are currently in progress in the state of Assam. Further works of more than 34,000 crores covering more than 1,300 kilometers of national highways will be undertaken in the state in the coming three years.